This is Rap the News. The book tells you to flee Babylon and get from the midst of the heathens because if you don't, you and your children are going to pay the price. The aim right now is the children. They are making consumers out of the children from day one. They want you to place that kid in front of a TV, in front of a game, in front of a laptop, in front of everything, the radio, so they can corrupt them to become mindless consumers, materialistic idiots on their way to hell. The Bible says the camel will pass through the eye of a needle before a rich man enters into the kingdom. Most people ignore that, but you're not getting in because verse after verse after verse says you have achieved your attainment in this life, this material world. You will have no share in the next life. And so advertisers, governments, the school system, all is after your children. They are injecting your children with COVID-19. For what reason? To kill the God gene in them because they are making materialistic, demonic idiots. That's what they are creating. People that are doomed to go to the fire. Let's get into it. As in Leviticus 20, verses 2 to 5, say to the Israelites, any Israelite or any foreigner residing in Israel who sacrifices any of his children to Moloch is to be put to death. The members of the community are to stone him. I myself will set my face against him and will cut him off from his people. For by sacrificing his children to Moloch, he has defiled my sanctuary and profaned my holy name. Ads cleverly designed to induce viewers consumers to purchase goods and services they might otherwise survive quite nicely without, thank you. And more recently we have been made aware that video games, digitalized social networks like Facebook and Twitter, servers like Firefox and Safari, digital behemoths like Google and Yahoo, online retailers like Amazon, eBay and Alibaba, depend for their financial success, for their very survival, on their ability to seduce viewers and users into engaging, that is, interfacing with advertisers. Even the coolly seductive hardware, phones, game consoles, tablets, and computers themselves, and the fabulous flat-screen HD televisions serves almost exclusively the purposes of the ravenous consumer economy. Here's why we need Wii U. Anyone can be like a superhero. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. Hi, I'm Brett. Kids spend a lot of time on screens these days. And where there are screens, there are ads, and lots of them. In this video, you're gonna learn how advertising rewires kids' brains. Carl Sagan once said that the visions we offer our children shape the future. But these days, we're not treating kids like shapers of the future. We're treating them like shoppers of the future. How? By serving up ads everywhere. On TV, with product placements and the shows they watch, in apps, and even in video games. But kids don't always understand that advertising isn't designed to shape them into healthy, happy adults. It's designed to sell them more stuff. Some marketers even intentionally take advantage of young people's insecurities and their desire to fit in. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. And that's all because advertisers care about what's best for their bottom line, not what's best for kids. The California State Department of Education has started implementing a new framework for sex education in public schools for grades K through 12. Here's what your kid is going to be taught. And go ahead and look this up for yourself too and share this video. Parents need to know. Because you, as a parent, you cannot opt your child out of this. In kindergarten, teachers are encouraged to talk to your five-year-old about gender identity and transgenderism to make sure your kindergartner knows that she can be a boy if she wants to be a boy. Under these new guidelines mandated by the state, in middle school and California public schools, teachers will be talking to your 11-year-old child about masturbation and telling your preteen that masturbation is perfectly healthy, perfectly normal, in junior high and high school, 
Teachers are encouraged to teach your teenager from a book called SEX, the All You Need to Know Sexuality Guide to Get You Through Your Teens and Twenties that gives descriptions about anal sex and bondage. You can't make this stuff up. And safe sex. Now, the safest safe sex practice to avoid pregnancy and STIs is abstinence, right? But does this new government framework include curriculum on abstinence or chastity to teach to 13, 14, 15 year old kids? Nope, this framework teaches kids that abstinence means oral sex or anal sex or any sexual behavior that can't get you pregnant. This framework encourages teachers to talk to teenagers about LGBT relationships and teaches them about puberty, not from a scientific standpoint, but in a way that creates an environment that challenges binary concepts of gender. So first, in other words, your kid will go to biology class and learn about two types of DNA, male and female, and then they'll go to sex ed class and be brainwashed into thinking there are 158 different genders, however you feel. And parents, you have no power to, and parents, you have no power to, and parents, you have no power to, and parents, you have no power to opt out of this radical leftist indoctrination. The average American child watches an estimated 25,000 to 40,000 television commercials per year. And in 2010, 15 to 17 billion dollars was spent by companies advertising strictly to children. Over four billion dollars in 2009 was spent by the fast food industry alone. And that's because our schools were basically built to create workers that will do what you tell them to do because they value this thing called money. And they think that's going to allow them to live a life and that's obviously completely wrong because the rich don't work for money. The rich create their own wealth. And when a time like this happens, it becomes blatantly obvious what's going on with the people that are understanding money and the ones that aren't. How did I get here is the question. What don't I know? What did my information, education, cultural background, what did not prepare me for today? That's where, that's where the transformation of the metamorphosis begins. I mean, you take responsibility. You know, everybody talks about rights, but we have personal responsibilities too. And the, unfortunately, our university systems have failed us miserably. And the reason for that is every professor wants tenure. That's all my, that's my whole family. That was the most important thing about getting a job was tenure job security for life. And that's what they teach kids without knowing it. They, they, teach, they teach kids that life is dangerous and you need to have, be protected. In Leviticus 20 verses two to five, say to the Israelites, any Israelite or any foreigner residing in Israel who sacrifices any of his children to Moloch is to be put to death. The members of the community are to stone him. I myself will set my face against him and will cut him off from his people. For by sacrificing his children to Moloch, he has defiled my sanctuary and profaned my holy name. 